proposal says we're just going to cut excise tax as if you can get something for nothing. But of course, that leaves municipalities with $85 million less. What is the municipalities use that money for now is for their share of local road maintenance. So every municipality from the smallest town to the largest will face the choice. Do we simply stop paving programs, stop maintaining our roads, or do we shift it onto the property tax? Those are the only two sources of revenue that municipalities have. They will no doubt come to state government, too, and say, now help us out, you know, we just lost excise tax. But, but basically, there, there's no place for those costs to go. Um, and then the, the proponents are selling it as a green proposal. Now, I like green. I drive a hybrid. <gasps> Trouble is, my hybrid's five years old. Doesn't qualify for any way. So the brand new cars get a break, and the, most of us are driving older cars. I'm looking around the room. I'm guessing most of you are driving older cars. Get no break out of this to provide benefits to people who are buying uh, new cars. And of course, as the example is given, the Cadillac Escalade hybrid that cost 85000 would get a tax break. It just doesn't make any sense at all. But the major problem is it shifts burden onto the property tax. And that's the lesson from Colorado about Tabor as well. So we have the irony that people are most concerned, the tax that's most difficult for most main households is the property tax. <coughs> Both of these proposals are likely, based on the experience in Colorado and the, simply the way the excise tax thing works, is to shift burden onto property tax, increase property tax.